and this event will see the crowning of the Carnival Queen at 3pm. And it's getting more and more rare that people send postcards at 15 pence each when they can text, email or Facebook when on holiday. Ninety-nine P and pound shops are popping up everywhere up and down the country and Exmouth is no different. And teenage drinking and binge drinking is proving a real problem and with promotions like these on Jagger it's no wonder why. Of course you wouldn't recognise Exmouth by night with the amount of police patrolling pubs, clubs etc. As perhaps more inner city areas up and down the country are becoming more world friendly Exmouth is no different. A slightly dated uh, form of communication these days, the phone box run by British Telecom or BT as they're known now. Mostly because most people nowadays own a mobile phone. And with a minimum fee of 60 pence to dial a local number, the phone box is no longer a cheap, reliable form of communication. And of course, come down at the weekend and you'll see a game played by the Cockles, the local rugby club. And there's many of our favourite dickies out on the water in the estuary this time of year. Within this day and age, not everything goes to landfill to be dumped or tipped, but a lot's recycled. And of course, this is here for the week of the carnival week. And it's props not how we all remember the fair, as it's closed obviously during the day, but really comes alive in the evening.
the back of Camperdown Terrace. And it's that time of year when boats are getting lifted out of the water back onto their dock on dry land for the winter. And it's no different here at Exmouth Marina, the old docks, where boats are getting taken out for repair work and maintenance throughout the winter. And the last piece of redevelopment into October 2013 here on Exmouth Docks is really taking shape. And the building's roof's now on. And all the concrete interior stairs are in also. And that roof's looking good, although it's not tiled, but a special material. and the slate roof underneath is going on also. And ADR Films is sure that Midas Building Group, who are building these apartments on the docks and quayside, are really going to push now to get the cladding on and render ready for the winter on the timber frame. And that's quite a catch these boys have brought in this morning. And the cladding on this building on the marina has only been up since 2009 and already is showing signs of wear. But at least people have decorated their balconies with plants and furniture. And more signs of paint wear on the woodwork on the marina. The beach pub, situated right on the edge of the beach and the docks entrance, recently saw this weekend their annual beer and cider festival with live music. This is also where the Exmouth Shanty Men practice once a week. And just in front of the beach pub, next to the slipway, the new cafe is taking place. With the roof on, they're also trying to get watertight before the winter. And of course, boat trips from Exmouth prove popular all through the summer. And the Stuart Line Cruise holds an excellent Christmas Day cruise so you can view all the Christmas Day swimmers go out. What an excellent price.
And there's still a few brockles about in Sidmouth, Exmouth, as they take their final cheap holiday deals. And a new sport that's proving popular in Exmouth is wakeboarding. The object to stand on a slight surfboard and paddle along. And of course the kites are still proving popular in Exmouth. Sometimes they use kites attached to a buggy to race along the beach. And paragliding proves popular also with this young paraglider out and about around Exmouth. And the groins look as if they could do with replacing here in Exmouth with many of them on the beach now gone completely. And the council have stood much criticism over the last few years with rising parking costs. To park on the seafront now is a pound an hour. And of course with the smaller fishermen really struggling to make a living as the deep sea treading fishing trawlers take much more profit. <laughs> And that time of year has soon come round when the mongrel dogs are allowed back on the beach, shitting and blinding children. With the main beach at Exmouth stretching over two miles, there's also Shelley Beach and Sandy Bay Beach. And if you don't mind sand in your eyes, sitting right on the beach in this little shelter is quite nice. Well, it was an area of outstanding beauty. The site of what was the Elizabeth Hall sadly passed away, but forever in the hearts of Exmouth folk. That's true Exmouth folk. The dear Elizabeth Hall, once a gentleman's club, then an aquarium, then the Elizabeth Hall, has now been reduced to a pile of rubble before a beautiful hall, now soon to be a grotty hotel. That's what you could just read, just paint it. Do it with hammer, right? Perhaps this pub would be better called the Grockles Inn, as it's where all the holiday makers come when in Exmouth. And it's not surprising to see why with its sea views. The Octagon, mostly an ice cream parlour. And what a choice of ice creams here at the Octagon. All at great prices, a mere 160 for a Cornet. Even in the month of October, the Esplanade Gardens look a treat. But how many people are using the dog poo bins? And only a few months ago, the manager of the bowling alley, an Irish gentleman, walked off the job with many complaints. Although they seem to be trading again now. And of course there's lots of little gardens in Exmouth, but these right behind the bowling alley are rather cute. Douglas Avenue and the Old Roll College closed over a decade ago now, when the college was centralised to Plymouth. A great financial loss to the college, and many old Victorian large houses close by with sea views have been converted into retirement homes. Summer Lane in Exmouth and there's no better place to come in Summer Lane Exmouth than Alarond, the National Trust interesting house once owned by two sisters. For a full film of Alarond see Alarond by ADR Films.
and over the past 20 years much development has taken part along this road. Where the town of Exmouth has almost doubled in size as a result. Situated just on the left leads up to Bystock House with its beautiful old lodge. Stock Drive, the new development. And the camping and caravan park situated just on the left. continues along to more of the social housing in Exmouth and flats. And situated on the right, the Prince of Wales pub and Prince of Wales drive and road. This is where ADR Films came to view a house before buying a house in Honiton. to the industrial estate at the top end of the road where recently, only a few years ago, the Liddles was built. Which brings us now towards the area of Littleham. Where many of the older council houses are situated. Quite a large estate where the dear Neil Barrett lives with girlfriend Sarah Hurd. And of course, we then come to Tesco's. 24 hour store and with petrol at 131.9 for unleaded and £1.38.9 for diesel a litre would you believe not even a gallon these days but you can get it all under the roof at this Tesco's And many of these older houses, like we saw earlier in the film, up near Roll College, are being either pulled down and rebuilt on or made into apartments and flats. And there's more and more retirement homes being built here too. The occasional one is used as something like a chiropodist practice or a dental surgery.
We'll shortly be turning left past the little parade of shops. And situated at this roundabout, which we're going to go straight across over, but at turning to the right, we would see the little industrial estate where the data of ADR Films, Tony Reynolds, worked back in the late 60s at a little engineering firm. We at ADR Film say, we salute you, Lady Lollipop Woman. And of course, Littleham School was just on the right. As we enter into Littleham, we are welcomed by the Leisure Community Centre wooden prefab building. But there is plenty of characterful architecture here, like its beautiful church situated just on the bank. A very interesting church and if you're in Littleham why not pop in and say hi? And of course we come to the beautiful pub, the Clinton Arms. Many happier night and days been spent down in Mere Lane at a friend's cottage opposite a farm by ADR Films cameraman. And of course the Devon Thatch Cottage seems popular in Littleham area also. And the little wooden boat dinghy boats with their flowers are always beautifully planted throughout the summer months. And it's just a slight drive up the road to another excellent beach at Exmouth. Sandy Bay, now largely populated by its caravan park, Haven Holidays. And the world of country life. A sort of miniature scale zoo, etc. which proves popular all year round to Exmouthonians and holiday makers.
and even as late in the year as October, people are checking into Sandy Bay. Sounds local. <laughs> And of course, Sandy Bay, although a private beach, always encourage allowing the locals in. And it's amazing how this caravan park's grown. It was originally just a farm with a few camping and caravanning guests coming to stay during uh, the 60s, but now has become a caravan park with all sorts of entertainment going on catering for thousands and thousands of holiday makers a year but it does have a beautiful private beach which we at ADR Films will bring to you the eager viewer in just a moment and although a large holiday caravan park where you can bring the self tourer, many of the static caravans are in separate avenues to each other. With a laundrette and hire shop, a convenient spa shop selling all, and you can even buy your own holiday home caravan here. and a massive indoor complex of a nightclub cabaret, bars and swimming pools. Sandy Bay really is the elite place to stay in Devon. And of course seeing squirrels at Sandy Bay is uncommon as holiday maker Elizabeth Hayes just pointed out. And getting around Sandy Bay isn't difficult with all names of each caravan alleyway or avenue described and mapped out for you. And the sheer scale of this complex is huge, where the cabaret and adventure play parks and swimming pool and cabaret area evening entertainment lies. And lots of individual smaller play parks dotted all around the park also. Of course we're not showing you all of Sandy Bay Holiday Park, although it is huge. And very wise too, speed bumps have been put in place at a 10 mile an hour speed limit. Well, there are children on holiday. And of course the South Beach Cafe 
proves popular with all the holiday makers too. Just round to the right of these cliffs is Exmouth Town Centre itself.
and the climbing walls popular as well as the gulf here. And with many sports facilities too. The spa, swimming pool, cafes and bars and the adventure playground and amusements. So as you can see, even on a wintry day, Exmouth Sandy Bay Holiday Park proves popular and in summer is absolutely heaving, being an excellent source of economy to Exmouth and the town. We at ADR Films also like to salute Sandy Bay Holiday Park. And of course, situated here at Liddles, we see Devon Fire Rescue. They've obviously been out on a job and it's not very far back to their depot, just on the road out towards the tip. But we'll be showing you that later in the ADR films and all around the McDonald's and fire rescue service place. Convenience of McDonald's here in Exmouth, like many up and down the country, which opened around 10 years ago, sees the drive-through, where you order here at the post through intercom, drive through here to the window to collect your food through the window and pay. So you can eat in your car without even leaving the car. And if you're not feeling that flush, for 99p you can have an excellent burger. Also on this site is Carpet Right, the Pets Galore Store, Tops Tiles and Halfords. And yes, McDonald's, see you soon too as well. And see you back in Exmouth in a week to two weeks' time. And it's important to mention that also on this industrial estate was B&Q's. And how long will it be before all this land coming out of Exmouth past McDonald's and the fire stations built on? Just shortly we'll be approaching Exmouth's recycling centre and tip. Also another entrance into Mere Lane in Exmouth. And just out of Exmouth, we come to the beautifully named place in a Ting Tong, situated just here. 
a double bend in the road quite close to Squadmore Reservoir, a nature reserve. We also, on this road, come to Exmouth Archery and Shooting Club. We then come to the excellent touring, camping and caravan site in St John's Road. This beautiful leafy lane will eventually take us up to Woodbury Common where some of the best sights and views from Exmouth can be seen. Showing Exmouth Late Sunday the 27th and early hours of Monday the 28th of October 2013 and the whole country has seen many bad effects aftermath after the storm with winds up to 90 miles an hour and Exmouth was no different as some of these caravanners rather stupidly left their awnings up knowing that there was a storm coming and this is the aftermath which ADR Films proudly presents to you the eager viewer and on the Waterloo London line to Devon train line the line has been closed and many other branch lines due to falling trees Marley Road in Exmouth was the worst hit with power cables coming down also with many falling trees all across Devon and the exit at Exmouth Road was also closed many chainsawists have been out hacking up the debris but of course you don't have to be a chainsaw expert to put away a caravan awning of course locals, real locals in Exmouth are aware that the storm was coming as everyone else in the country and battened down the hatches and survived well. Although winds were strong it could have been worse. It wasn't as bad as the storms of 87 which Exmouth saw. And although this film follows the history of the docks which is why we are showing you this but it also follows the year of 2013 in Exmouth Back in the 87 storms, Shelley Beach and the docks and the chalet of the docks looked like this as waves came crashing over their roofs. And we mustn't forget that before the council swimming pool was opened and before the open air swimming pool on the seafront going back even further in time was opened, people learnt to swim and played water polo in the docks. That was when it was a working man's docks, would you believe? And we've been showing you lots of the docks redevelopment in recent years, obviously as it's 2013. But let's look back to what the docks look, used to look like in the 80s. And of course this was the mouth of the docks.
So as ADR Films reminisces of the 1987 storms, we say to the people who live in the marina, the old docks now, in their high-rise flats, beware on the ground floor, this could all flood again. That is a proper problem with buying property near water. We now will give it another week before we take you round Exmouth town again and the docks. And of course we spoke of the many trees down in Exmouth with the storm. And it was no different for our friend in the city of Exeter at the Duke of York pub just across the road from in Sidwell Street, Exeter where many bikes were actually crushed by this falling tree and there was an even worse case outside the prison in New North Road in Exeter where the chainsawists took till lunchtime the next day to chainsaw up a massive tree that had come down. And with the kind permission of this CCTV footage this shows the tree coming down in New North Road. With thanks to a member of the general public who had this CCTV footage fitted to their flat in New North Road due to junk, drunken students who happily passed it on to ADR Films. And on the 4th of November 2013, the weather here in Exmouth couldn't be any be better than the last few weeks. Although we are experiencing some high tides. And it's a good time to be doing those roadworks in Exmouth whilst the tourists aren't about. And all we can say at ADR Films is, will the Colonel make a call? And it's perfect time of year for pub renovation and property renovation here in Exmouth whilst the tourists aren't here. Everybody likes the rear entrance to the market.
and we've already spoken in this film about the uses that the rugby club ground situated in the Royal Avenue in Exmouth holds and it's no different for November the 5th with the spectacular firework display run by the round table you never know you might even catch that old ADR films here if he's not at his Ottery St Mary tar barrels hey look see this little girl on the Ladrum Bay advertising board she salutes to ADR films and no mistake and of course always a good river cruise by Stuart Line Cruises not so much on the river but is of course the Christmas Day swim cruise which the council are trying to put an end to the Christmas Day swim diabolical behaviour council we say at ADR films And without the fear of being flooded or storm damaged, 50% of reserved of the Spinnaker's development already. And there's a lot of boats that have been lifted out the water at the sailing club now for the winter months and their work to be done on ready for the spring season. And the first parts of the plasticky wood effect cladding are going up. And the pride of Devon sits on her mooring. And the Tudor Rose. <laughs> 